All right, y'all. Casper TNG D thing computers. Let's see what they got to talk about on this one, y'all. Y'all told me to react to this live on stream, so I'm here to give this to y'all. I actually wasn't going to tune into this until y'all asked me. So we're going to see what they're talking about on this one. Follow the Twitch link in the description. And with that being said, let's jump straight into this. I ain't going to lie. Let's see what they got to say, man. Okay. I don't know what to expect from this. Hold on. Where is Casper from? He's from the UK? I'm not gonna lie, I like his sound. It gives me like underground rapper vibes. That's why I like it. And I like how he's flowing on this. It's fake catchy. It's fake catchy. Too much ice on me, I feel like break the ruler. Oh, Canada, okay. That makes sense. I feel like his lyrics could be a lot better, but his flow and his sound is not bad at all. I'm not gonna lie. When y'all said he was from Canada, now it completely clicks. It completely clicks. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like D-Thing right now is making the same music he was making in the past. And the fact that it's not 2021, 2022 anymore is why people aren't resonating with what he's giving us. This is the same kind of verse he would have gave us in that time if this song came out in that time. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. We listened to that mixtape. There are songs on there that if he dropped it in the past, they probably would have went way crazier if instead of him dropping it now. If I'm being completely real. Because I feel like when he came home and he didn't give us that classic drill song, everybody just completely wrote him off as an artist and things of that nature. But I feel like as of right now... He's fake on that same path he was on before. Now, I don't think it's better, and I don't think he still makes great music. I don't even think he thinks that great of a drill artist. It was just the energy and the beat selection and the flows that he was giving us. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't go into this expecting any type of lyrics or anything of that nature. So, so far, I'm not going to lie, it's typical D thing. I feel like that second half is literally him just doing Casper's whole flow 
and I didn't like it whatsoever. The lyrics on this were abysmal from, from you know what I'm saying, D-Thing's perspective. The lyrics were definitely abysmal, and the flows was mediocre. I'm going to be completely real with y'all. Um, the energy wasn't bad, though, and that's for, like, what he, he brings. I want to know why Casper chose D-Thing specifically out of any other drill rapper. And to answer my own question, I feel like it's because he came home and he was super hot. And he's probably top five hottest drill artists right now for counting 4-1 as an entire group. He, if he's probably, d thing is probably top 10 hottest drill artists. Do, who do you guys think is hotter in terms of, you know what I'm saying, the New York drill scene? Pause if needed. d thing or J-Hound? I think that'll gauge why Casper chose uh, d thing Um... I feel like if he would have chose Kyle Rich, Kyle Rich probably would have did the same thing but made it sound better because Kyle Rich has a better flow in my personal opinion. You feel what I'm saying? He could have also chose like a K Glizz. I feel like K Glizz would have walked on his beat and people were like, oh my God, this K Glizz guy from New York is fire. I hope Casper uploaded this on his channel because I want to see how people view D thing. I want to see how people view D things verse on this one. So let's continue so we can get to these comments. That's it. What do y'all rate this song out of 10? I ain't gonna lie, this is a calm 6.8. I ain't gonna front. This shit is mid. This is mid right here. I'm gonna be completely honest. I wanna see what they, they talking about, though. I wanna see what they talking about. Wow. Do you think matched energy for sure? He carried? How did he, how did he carry and he used the same flow he just used? Carried is crazy. I'm not gonna front. Carried is crazy. Bro took this Toronto sound and made it better. Interesting. I wonder how people feel about this. Hard collab. This is what D-Thing needed. Chill off the drill beats. D-Thing killed this. D-Thing finally got a good verse. After if y'all feel like this was a good verse, then y'all should go listen to that mixtape. Because there's a bunch of way better songs than what he just did on this. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. A bunch of way better songs. This shows y'all, like, once people write somebody off, anything you do is looked at as poor, bro. I'm going to be completely real with y'all because the fact that they said this is crazy. I'm very critical about my Toronto rap, but this is a bop. This is the hardest song of the year for real. Casper is the only Toronto rapper that still has the Toronto sound. It, I ain't going to lie. It seems like people are really jacking this, especially on old boy's part. I'm not going to front. Never disappointed with anything this man draws. I like how D-Thing actually matched the energy and flow. Oh, wow. So they're actually applauding him for choosing to go with the Toronto sound and things of that nature. Let me know how y'all feel about this track down below in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about D-Thing's music and things of that nature. I'm going to catch you on the next video. I'm going to continue streaming. That's the end of this one. Peace. Anonymous, appreciate that follow. Oh, annoying. Annoying Eli. Appreciate that follow, my boy. First time tuning into the Twitch was good. Your new song is fire, by the way. I've been bumping that. Appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate y'all. What's up? What's up?